everybody welcome back to the all things good channel and to another video vlogmas day 15 it is thursday the 15th of december how are you all i'm doing really good this morning i've had a nice relaxing chilled morning so far it's only well it's just gone nine o'clock but i did get up quite early but i've read a magazine had a coffee had some toast had a shower and just, well, it was so lovely to just do things in my own time. How lovely for a day off. Thoroughly enjoyed that. But now I need to get cracking. I've got quite a lot to do today. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean and sort out my son's bedroom because he's coming back from university on Tuesday. So I'm going to get his room all lovely and clean and all the linen washed and everything ready for him coming home, which I'm so excited about because I haven't seen him for nearly three and a half months. I can't believe it. So I'm really Really, really looking forward to Adam coming home on Tuesday. Then I'm going to take mum out, although it's absolutely freezing still. I did pop out to the car earlier and tried to de-ice it. When I turned the engine on, it said that it was minus six. And it looks very wintry. It looks almost snowy outside, but it's not. It's just frost and ice. So I'm going to have to be very, very careful with mum today. But we're just going to pop to Little, And I think we're going to go into B&M as well. So if we do, I shall take you with us and show you that. But I must get cracking with the cleaning now. So let's get into today's video. Hope you enjoy it. I must admit I have been using Adam's bedroom as a little bit of a storage area recently for the Christmas bits and pieces like wrapping paper, crackers, cards, bubble wrap, all sorts of things. So this needs to all get out of the way firstly. Adam's bed is an actual storage bed so it lifts up, you can put things underneath and under there we've got all sorts of things at the moment. There are blankets, throws, the spring and summer duvets and all sorts of bits and pieces. But first of all, I'm going to move the Christmas things out. They can go downstairs in the study. The bubble wrap can go under here because there are other sort of wrapping things inside there as well. And then it's time to strip the bed, which is tricky when Albert and Myla like to get involved. And I'm just going to clean down and freshen all the surfaces. I'm actually using just a general spray white vinegar. Now, the smell of white vinegar isn't very pleasant to most people. So I've actually also put on my aromatherapy diffuser while I'm doing this. But actually the smell of vinegar does go very, very quickly, but it also deodorizes the room. So actually, by the time you've finished, you'll have a very fresh smelling room. White vinegar is also very safe for all surfaces and you can use it on glass as well. So this way I could do the whole room with just one cleaning product. Throughout my house, I like all my furniture to be really light and bright, but Adam chose black furniture for his room, which is fine, it was his choice, but it's a little bit more difficult to keep clean. He's also got this very, very big and old bookcase that really needs sorting out this year. We can get rid of a lot of those books and some of these clothes. Time to put the duvet cover and the pillowcases and the bottom sheet into the washing machine. I won't actually need to dry this all today because I've got another set for Adam's bed that I washed a couple of days ago. That's what I'm going to put on today. But he will be staying with me for a good couple of weeks over Christmas. So I will need to change his sheets again, which can be for this set. And it saves me doing it over the Christmas period. So the fresh set is ready to go on and I'm going to show you a really simple trick to use to get your duvet in the cover nice and straight and looking perfect first time. First of all I'm going to put the bottom sheet on and of course Myla's come to help. The sheet had just got a few little bits on, I think they'd just come out the tumble dryer so I thought I'd hoover them up and make it look completely fresh and clean and lint free. And now for the magic trick, all you need to do is have your duvet cover inside out with the open end to the top of the bed and the closed end nearest to you at the bottom of the bed and Myla must help. Then simply throw your duvet on top of the cover and line it up so it's all square with the edges of the cover. Then gather the whole lot together and just start rolling it all up as if you're making a sausage roll. Then just bundle up the ends and tuck just the ends in to begin with. 
And once you've done that, all you need to do is start rolling out the duvet and it will all be inside the right way round. And all you need to do is tuck in the very end edges, give it a shake and you'll have a perfectly fitted duvet cover with hardly any effort whatsoever. A quick shake and it's on the bed, completely straight with no bumps or lumps in it. Great. And another little trick with your pillowcase is if you actually fold your pillows in half, put them into your hand and then tuck them into the cases, they actually fit in all the corners and it's a really quick and easy way to do it as well. And then just to finish off, I'm just going to spray the cover and the pillowcases with a bit of Lenore crease release. And this just brings out any little creases that are left in the cover. It does leave it a little bit damp for a few minutes, but obviously Adam's not here till Tuesday, so that doesn't matter. That will dry very quickly. And lastly, just to hoover around. Then we have our nice and clean room ready for my lovely guest with a perfectly made bed. Oh, I could just get into that now. How lovely. needed de-icing again. <laughs> I'm just going to go and get mom. But I've just had a text message to say I've won £10 on the People's Postcode Lottery. Hoorah! Probably means I'm not going to win the £30 million that someone's going to win over Christmas though, doesn't it? My postcode's already been picked, but I'm not complaining. £10, £10. Good morning, mum. Good morning, daughter. <laughs> And how are you today? I'm very well, Mother. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. Right, it's Pretty Thursday. Pretty good for an oldie. Pretty good for an oldie. You're yeah. not that old. <laughs> not that old. 29, is it? <laughs> or is, is that is it the other way around, those figures? We're... Um, no, we're... not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> She's overdone it there. I haven't. 29, the other way around, is... is... <laughs> yeah. Which is you... And yeah. a half. <laughs> Actually, don't forget the half. We are heading out in this frosty morning. Yes. Isn't it beautiful though? The sun is it, it's it's out. A beautiful but day. Car's telling me it's minus one now. It was a lot colder than this. But in the car, earlier. it's really cosy. It's getting cosy. We're getting there. And we are going to go to Lidl today. And a little look at BM, I think. Now, Mum, what do you think B&M stands for? We've said this before, haven't we? But for those that haven't watched my videos before Vlogmas, won't know what you call B&M. Bloody marvellous. <laughs> That's what B&M stands for. Bloody marvellous. And it is bloody marvellous as well. Yes. So we're going to Little and Bloody Marvellous yes. today. We're wrapped up warm. Got your gloves today, Mum. Yes. Yes. And the 15th of December, I can't believe it's the 15th of December. Do you know what? When I was a little girl, I'm not sure my sunglasses on. Yeah. It was around this time, about the 15th of December, I always used to start to get really excited for Christmas because we were into double digits, you know, 15th of the month, and it was, you know, yeah. it's not long now to Christmas, Father <laughs> Christmas will be coming. Wow. Do you remember? On Christmas morning, she showed up to my sister, who was a little bit older, eight years older, actually. And she showed up, it's, it's been, Sarah, it's been. Sarah, it's been. I know, annoying little sister. But it had got to be done. Yes. It had got to be done. Do you remember the year, I was telling everybody the other day, that Dad had, was it chicken pox? And it got all that calamine lotion over his face. He looked quite freaky. Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> and we were laughing, but 
he wasn't very well at all was no. I? oh bless him but anyway it is not far now we are 15 days into vlogmas 15 days into december and i've only got one day left in the office tomorrow hoorah it's been so busy this week the amount of people mum that have moved house this week and actually will continue to do so next week when i'm not in the office we've got people moving house on the 21st and the 22nd it's how strange. stressful how stressful at christmas i think so i think they're skipping christmas and just moving house. skipping christmas and moving house yeah the decoration will be in the putting together their rooms i don't think i could do we nearly moved before christmas didn't we when we yes. we bought these houses we thought it was going to happen and it didn't and I gave them a deadline I said if it if it goes beyond the 16th or whatever it was we're not doing it forget it we'll do it in the new year but it was the 24th of January when we moved yes. in the end and actually that worked out well because the weather was on our side yes. and it was just before Covid yes, it was good. so it was good so nearly three years you've been in my old house mom yes. you like it don't you I love it yes and it's just perfect said this morning can we get this hot tub up and running I said you are got to be joking I said I might do it on Sunday because the weather's meant to get warmer to a whole 11 degrees we might have on Sunday but I need to get the water in then we have to put the special chemicals in which keeps the pH level correct so that you can keep the water in for a period of time you have to keep checking on that and then when you're ready to use it I think I need to look at the instructions you just press a button and the bubbles start press a button and then it heats up and then you have to leave it so long for it to heat to temperature then you can get in it and Grace said I'm glad you didn't put it at the other end of the garden she said, there's no way I can get from the back door to the end of the garden I'm in bikini and metal in rope in this weather I said you'd be lucky just to get out the back door yes. at the moment but we'll see we might get it we might get it up and running before Adam comes well, and Adam doesn't know we've got it so that'll be a surprise for him yes and this morning i've cleaned all his room put fresh bed sheets on all ready for my gorgeous. vip guest my gorgeous grandson no. he's very tall isn't he mum yes six foot four six foot four but then he takes after his granddad he does my dad was tall my dad was six foot three wasn't he yes yeah so definitely take in fact he's like my dad in lots of ways absolutely very much like my dad he has his well he's got his intelligence for a start he's a great historian very academic and he's also got his temperament i think he uh, is very kind and patient and he walks like him as well doesn't yes, he he walks in front of you just like him he, he's just like him just he like really him. is yes. very nice and it was nice that dad got to know um, that Adam was Adam was in Exeter doing his studies he was very pleased about that yeah. 
and he's doing really well and he's also looking forward to seeing his girlfriend over Christmas. I think she's coming to us on the 27th or the 28th. Okay. Then they're off to Dublin for four days and then he comes back again with me for a few days. So it's going to be lovely. Yes, absolutely. Right, we're not far from the little now, Mum. So get ready. We'll go and have a look in Little, and we'll also go and get see. ready to shop. Get ready to shop <laughs> on your marks. We're ready every day to shop. <laughs> we do do shopping yeah. quite well, I must say. Quite expert in that area. And we'll also have a look at what's in the middle of Little. just been around the house watering my plants and look how my orchid is coming out isn't that beautiful it's just had a little drink so I'll put it back on the shelf in the study now it loves it there because it's in the light of the window and there is a radiator underneath that window so actually so I think it's liking the heat and the light and it's had a nice little drink so pretty 
I'm very glad to say I'm back in the warm. My goodness, it's so bright outside, it's beautiful, and it's really good mum's had some fresh air and a change of scene today. But it goes so cold in the afternoon, doesn't it, that there's no way she can be out in the afternoon. So we've got all our jobs done, been shopping, got a few bits to show you, back home for 10 past one. So just before I have my lunch, I'll quickly show you what I've picked up today. Some non-exciting things to begin with. Um, in little, I picked up some sweet chilli flavour snacker jacks. I do like those. I've got quite a kick to them as well. And I am still obviously finding little and Aldi are both still obviously much, much cheaper than everywhere else. Even their prices have gone up, obviously, like everybody's have, but still a lot, lot cheaper than the other supermarkets. I've picked up some red kidney beans in a chilli sauce and some chopped tomatoes because one of Adam's favourite meals is my vegetarian chilli that I do, which Grace doesn't like, but Adam loves. So I haven't had it for ages because I only make it when Adam's at home. So that's a nice meal to do next week. I picked up some fresh milk and some corn on the cob. Mm, I like that. And Lidl's version of boisson cheese that we like is their crefe soft cheese with herbs they also do this one with garlic which is yummy but that's a bit like boisson that's got garlic and herbs in so twice the size half the price so that's good i also got in little this enamel roaster which i thought was very good this was 9.99 and that's going to be perfect for the christmas meats on Christmas Day. I have got one similar, but it's not as deep as this. I liked how deep this was. So I was very impressed with that. Easy care, durable enamel coating inside and out. They only do the one size. So this is length by width by height is 39 by 32 by seven centimeters. And that can be used up to a max of 400 degrees C. And it came with a three year guarantee as well. So three Christmases are coming out of that for sure should be oh and then tonight's tea for me and grace will be smoky barbecue fajitas bought a fajita kit today in little as well so that's that and then i got some bits in oh only a couple of bits in b and i picked up these which is sort of nice assorted party mix snack selection that's good isn't it that was a pound one pound bargain i love i love b and m i got some more fabric conditioner today some comfort pure that's one of my favorites that and fairy i love but i'm going to have a lot of washing next week when adam comes home because he'll bring a lot back with him i assure you so we're going to need all the washing stuff next week then i picked up two bin buddies i do love a bin buddy they're both the same they've only got one fragrance today which is orange and cinnamon so very festive and what's really nice about it it's more cinnamon than orange by the way which i like anyway and it's not too overpowering so it will freshen the bin nicely but it's not christmas in your face you know what i mean because I, as i say i like the bathrooms and the kitchen to be fresh smelling not christmasy smelling but that's absolutely fine and i always buy a bin buddy and sometimes you can't find them I've struggled for a couple of weeks to buy a bin buddy. So I've got two of those. They'll keep me going for a while. And that's it. That's all I picked up. It's concentrated on mum's shopping today. She got everything she needed. There were a couple of things on her list that were duplicates from Tuesday, but I pretended I hadn't seen them and we just ignored that. She was really on form today. She was bright as a button. Love being out and about for a bit. So that's all good. So I am now going to go and get warm, make my lunch, I've got some jobs to do this afternoon around the house. So I'm going to leave our vlog there for today 15. Hope you've enjoyed it. And then tomorrow, of course, day 16, I will be doing your questions. I'm going to do the Q&A tomorrow evening. So hope you can join me for that. I will um, do as many questions as possible. Thank you so much for all your questions that have come in. There are some great ones that I can't wait to answer. I'm so appreciative of you, appreciative of you all doing that. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. 
So until tomorrow, stay safe, stay in the boat, keep doing all things good. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Friday, Vlogmas Day 16, the day I break up from work. And we'll have a lovely, relaxed Q&A session together tomorrow evening. So I shall see you then. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.